Hello friends, welcome back. We have been learning a lot of things about the Harmony Voyage and I am sure you are excited about the same. It's time for us to go into the next level where we are going to learn the tools that are important to develop projects as well as applications for Harmony Voyage. Yes, Dev Eco Studio, that's the one-stop solution that we need to learn. I'm going to talk about Dev Eco Studio. I'm going to also guide you through the installation process in this session and it's going to be certainly interesting. The Dev Eco Studio is believed to be a one-stop solution for all app development with respect to Harmony Voice. It's powered by IntelliJ Idea Community Edition oriented towards Harmony Voice based devices in all the possible scenarios. It is free and easy to download and you can download the same from the link that I have provided in the description section and it's absolutely easy to download. It has got six very important features that I would like to highlight but before we go into it, I would request you something. Please download, install it and have a feel. Only then you will understand how much powerful it is. Well, it has got a unified development environment for various devices. What do you mean by that? Very simple. This Devico supports app development for wide range of Harmony devices. It starts from phones, tablets, head units, vision products or wearables. You take anything, you can develop apps with it. Second point is very, very important. Multi-language code development and debugging. Well, somebody may know Java, somebody may know XML, somebody may know C, C++, somebody may be very good with JavaScript or you could be very familiar with CSS. We have got support for everything out here with the Dev Eco Studio and over and above all this, there is something called as Harmony OS Markup Language as well, which is called HTML. It's all supported here and you can develop apps with any of these. And it has got a very quick development of feature abilities and particle abilities. I have described this in my previous sessions, what is feature ability and what is particle ability. If you have any doubts, please go through it. In this, with this Dev Eco Studio, it's going to be very, very easy for you to uh, go through uh, the uh, guidelines and the templates that are available inside and you can create your own Harmony OS ability packages. And this all happens with a single click. Well, we have got more features that are to be learned. Multi-device previewer. This is something amazing. I need to tell you, this exactly gives you a feature which is to be appreciated. This shows how your code return in Java or JavaScript renders on different devices in real time. So it can get you a preview of multiple devices at the same time. So you do not have to spend time in switching between devices to see how things work. So this is a great feature. And we have got a multi-device emulator which is available, which provides you emulators for the phones, tablets, head units, vision products and wearables. So all in one package is what I mean. And we've got a distributed multi-device app development support. You can get a project and a piece of code to run on different devices with support for real-time preview and differentiated development of device UIs. That's very, very important. So it helps you in developing apps for multiple devices as we already have been discussing and these six features unified development environment for various devices multi-language facility quick development of abilities distributed multi-device app development support multi-device emulator multi-device previewer these six together makes it really powerful that's why i made it powerful in the title well how do we download it where do we install it? All those things are going to be very important. And please understand the point. It's a distributed platform. Devico Studio is a distributed platform which enables you to develop versatile all device, all scenario apps offering you distributed multi-device development, debugging and emulation. That's the reason we have kept this picture out there which can show you multi-devices and you can develop apps for anything. It's going to be flexible, easier and interesting too. Well, where do I download? How do I download? Where do I start? All these are good questions that I need to answer. I have given you the link for downloading in the description. You can download the Dev Eco Studio by clicking this link and you will get a confirmation message right immediately. You can see that out there that the download has started. So it's a 890 plus MB file. It may take few minutes for the download to be complete. So once it is downloaded, the installation is as simple. It is just a couple of clicks away from usage. Well, I'm going to show you the installation process as well now, but remember, it's very simple and one click, but if your network requires a proxy to access the internet, you need to set up the proxy first. Remember this point, if your network requires a proxy to access the internet, you have no option, you need to set the proxy first. Well, you can see the installation process. I need to double click on installables. 
please select the destination folder appropriately find out if the space required is what is available and you can click all these necessary things if you want shortcuts you can select that so i have added whatever i require and i have clicked next so it takes few minutes for the installation and it was really faster than expected so you could see that the installation process is really smooth and it goes on and once the installation is done you have installed the debico studio is it the end of it no we have got more things to it i'm going to talk about it as well you need to also reboot it and you can reboot it immediately is what i prefer you to do once the rebooting is done we have got series of things to be done now we can see that we have first installed the debico studio and we need to set up the development environment and that's the next thing to be done and then we can create a project and start our first project there and we can run it yeah this is going to be the third step first step is done already we have completed this process and the second step is what we are going to talk about right now so we have got the steps where we need to go ahead with setting up the npm proxy setting up the gradle proxy setting up the ide proxy and all these are required only if you are using a proxy to access the internet and how do you do that step sir is it complicated it's not very complicated you can learn the process through the link that i have highlighted here and i will give you this in the description section as well and once these three are done if required i stress it on if required you need to do these three and if not you can ignore these three and you can go to this step right away downloading the harmony voice sdk how simple is it or how complex is it it's very very simple and open the devico studio and follow the steps that's all if you are doing it for the first time please do not import settings and click okay agree to the terms and conditions it will be open the devico studio is being open for the first time now now leave it as such you don't do much you can start and it will go on you can see that the sdk component setup will start and by default it is showing that hard harmony os sdk is required and the harmony os sdk is a collection of harmony os based apis and tools and it's going to be installed right now just click next 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 and it will ask you for accepting the conditions and the terms for the license and once it is done it goes through the process really is very fast and you will get all these installed in a matter of time of say about 3 minutes and once it is done it is all set to go you can see that it's really very fast and once you finish it uh, once you finish this installation of uh, harmony os sdk you are all set to go and you are free to then start building your project this is what the window finally you will be getting you can create your own harmony os project from now on i'm going to talk about it in the next session and i'm sure you will like it we shall learn about creation of the project and it's going to be very very interesting thank you very much for following me the channel the content if you like the channel please subscribe if you have any questions please type in the comment section i'll be happy to answer thank you